Hello! What is up? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Ivy, and today I'm going to be talking about something. What am I talking about? Today I'm going to be doing the TBR tag. So, if you do not know, a tag is basically just a thing where there's some questions and they all kind of have to do with the theme, and since I talk about books, it's usually about books in some sort of way. So the first question is, how do you keep track of your TBR? This is complicated. So basically, I have three different lists. Number one is the list on my notes app on my phone. It's not like the app that comes with your phone. It's called Color Note. It's perfection. The second list is Goodreads. Goodreads is a little different because it's, I don't know how to describe it, it's just different from my other list. And the third list I can actually show you. I thought for a second I was holding up two, but that's definitely three. The third one is in my bullet journal. It's the list of all the books that I wanted to read this year, me being 2020, but like, I've kind of deviated from it already, but here it is. I have it in rainbow. It's pretty hot, basically. I just cross off books when I finish them. Anyway, yes, that is my very needlessly complicated system of keeping track of the books that I want to read. Okay, number two. Is your TBR mostly print or mostly ebook? This is another difficult one to answer because I know a lot of people have physical TBRs, which is when their TBR pile is literally just all the unread books that they own, but I don't live that life. My TBR is all the books that I want to read, so it's books that I do own. Own, but it's also books that I don't own. That being said, I would say it's mostly print because I try to avoid ebooks as much as I can because I just love having a physical book in my hands and reading it and smelling it. Yes, I smell my books. And if you try to tell me that you've never smelled a book before, just leave. Um, yeah, so mostly print. But I will read an ebook if I have to. Number three, how do you choose what book to read next? This is actually simple. I just go to the list on my phone and I look at what's next. Sometimes it gets a little messed up because... Yeah, but usually that's how it goes. I am not a mood reader at all, and I have very OCD tendencies, so like, that's just how I do it. And I'm not the type of person who can just go like, oh, like, let's see what I want to read. Like, no, I have my list and it's in an order and that's how I will read my books. Number four, what's a book that's been on your TBR the longest? So I don't know the answer to this question. It's kind of hard to answer, but there's a bunch of books that I feel like I just always wanted to read. I thought of this one, The Boy in the Striped Pajamas by John Boyne. This is just like, it's a really popular book. I've heard it's really, really good. There's a bunch of other books that were like that too, like The Book Thief, which I actually read. There's just some books that like, it's a lifelong goal of mine to read, and this is one of them. Number five, what is a book you recently added? So the most recent book that I added to my TBR is The Silmarillion by J.R.R. Tolkien. I can never say his name gracefully. I just read the Lord of the Rings trilogy for the first time and I immediately needed more so I'm gonna read the Silmarillion and it's I'm not entirely sure how to describe it because I haven't read it yet but my understanding is that it's just like a bunch of lore and history about Middle-earth and it's pretty nerdy and I'm very excited for it. I'm just barely scratching the surface of Middle-earth and I have a bad feeling that this is gonna open up a very deep rabbit hole, but you know what? Whatever. Number six is a book that is on your TBR strictly because of its beautiful color, and for that I picked Wildfire by Karsten Knight. Just, just look at it for a second. Like, tell me that's not the most beautiful thing you've ever seen. Like, oh my god. It's so pretty. I think I found it in a used bookstore and I was like, wow, that book is hot. I need it in my life. Number seven is a book on your TBR that you never plan on reading, and Honestly, there are none. I feel like I did recently do like a TBR purge or whatever. I mean, it could happen like down the road if I get to a book on my list when I'm like, oh, like I literally don't want to read that anymore, then I won't. But as of now, I don't see that happening, so. Number 
8 is an unpublished book that is on your TBR, and for me, that is The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes by Suzanne Collins. If you don't know what this book is, you have been living under a rock. Basically, it's a prequel to the Hunger Games series, and it's so exciting. I heard they might be making a movie. I don't even know. I think it comes out sometime in May. But I'm excited. <laughs> Number nine is a book that everyone has read except you. Six of Crows by Lee Bardugo. Thirteen Reasons Why by Jay Asher. The Upside of Unrequited by Becky Albertalli. To All the Boys I've Loved Before by Jenny Han. Dumplin' by Julie Murphy. The Golden Compass by Philip Pullman. Twilight by Stephanie Meyer and Shatter Me by Tahara Mafi. And those are just the ones that I own. Number 10 is a book that everyone recommends to you, and to be honest, I don't know? It's hard to explain, but I, I just, people don't really recommend me stuff. Like, I know they have, but there's no book that, like, really sticks out to me, like, people are hammering it into my skull. Like, I don't know, I just read what I want. Number 11 is a book that you're dying to read, and for me, that is Carry On, but no, not freaking carry on. The Word Sun by Rainbow Rowell. It is the sequel to Carry On and it's about a gay wizard who is in love with a vampire and it's it's just beautiful. And our last question coming in at number 12 is how many books are on your TBR? So according to Goodreads the number is 170 but I think it's more because here's the thing. Sometimes on Goodreads, I will mark every single book in a series as to be read, but other times I'll just mark the first book. A little inaccurate because usually if I start a series, unless it's like the worst thing I've ever read, I will probably finish it. It's probably more than 170 if you take all of that into account, but like that's still a pretty pretty solid number. Okay, so that is it. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope your TBR pile isn't as scary as mine, and I will see you next week. Yes, next week with another video. Bye.